I've seen some videos recently about 8 gigabytes versus 16 gigabytes of RAM from quite a few YouTubers and which one you should choose for your Mac purchase decision. Unfortunately, almost none of them mention the one huge issue that you need to consider before making a purchase decision, and that is the swap memory usage. Let me describe what swap memory is and why it's such an important factor in your purchase decision. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It's super fast, but nothing is ever actually written to it. That is to say, you can't exactly save files or documents to the RAM. Think of RAM as if you're writing something on a whiteboard. The writing stays there for as long as you need it, and as soon as you don't need it, it gets wiped off and it's ready to be written on again. It's essentially a clean slate. Now, think of an SSD as writing on a piece of paper with a pencil. Sure, you can use an eraser to rub out the pencil, but if you do this over and over and over again, sooner or later the paper is going to get marked and it's going to be much harder to actually write on that same piece of paper. This is why over time hard drives and to a lesser extent solid state drives become slower and you even slowly lose storage capacity on them. The constant writing and rewriting of files and data will over time damage it just like the paper in my example. Although usually this takes years and years, especially for an SSD. Now swap memory comes into play when you overload your RAM memory. If you max out your RAM, your Mac will still perform very well, but it will overflow into swap memory, which uses your SSD as a temporary place to store data that should have been stored in RAM. This means that files and data are being constantly written and erased onto your SSD that usually wouldn't. So is this a big deal? Well, for 95% of people, no, it's not. During normal use, you will likely never use a significant amount of swap memory, and even if you do, it takes a tremendously large amount of read and write cycles to have any noticeable negative effect on an SSD, so you'll likely be fine. However, if you are a power user and doing lots of editing, rendering, or multitasking, or similar work, definitely consider 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can see in these examples of me doing some power multitasking that I'm using a significant amount of swap memory. If I were to be doing these tasks every single day and for long amounts of time, I may see my SSD performance degrade slightly quicker than normal, and that is a problem because the SSD is non-removable. Side note, the tests I'm doing in these videos are pretty much worst case scenario. 95% of people will never reach anywhere close to this. But that brings me to my next point. If you're looking to purchase right now, my advice is to either get the 16 gigabyte version if you have the money, or get the eight gigabyte version if you're pretty confident you won't be rendering all day or using 25 apps or multitasking at the same time for hours and hours using a ton of memory. If you are unsure of how much RAM you might be using, Good news, I will be doing a comprehensive series of tests with a 16 gigabyte MacBook Air against the eight gigabyte version to show you exactly how much RAM is used in certain tasks and everyday usage and what model of Mac you should purchase. Anyway guys, thanks for listening. Like always, comment below if you have any questions or you want me to test something or look into something. But apart from that, I will catch you in the next one.